Hey everybody, this is Brian, and this is our third C++ tutorial. As you can see, we still have the very simple Hello World application that we've made. Um, I wanted to discuss namespaces. Um, if you're familiar with .NET or Java, you know what a namespace is. If you're not, um, a namespace is a way of avoiding collisions. Let's say you make a, a program called cat, and your friend makes a program called cat. Which cat do you want to use? Well, you make a namespace. That's why there's this STD or standard library. Everything in the STD namespace is part of that namespace. So you can make your own C out as long as it's not in the STD namespace. Now it's kind of tedious to type STD colon colon and then C out. I mean, what good is that? Let's actually include a namespace. So let's go using namespace std now you no longer need to include that because you automatically have access to it eh, can't spell today so that's how you use a namespace in C++ let's run this verify it actually works and hello world it works press any key to continue as you can see, that's very, very powerful. Now, instead of using the entire namespace, you could go in and use individual parts of it. For example, you could say you just want to use C out. Um, I'm not going to get that nitpicky. Um, I really want you to focus on learning C++ and how to get comfortable with it rather than nitpicking over this class and that class. So for these tutorials we're just gonna use the entire standard library namespace. So let's actually play around with this for a little bit here. So you've learned C out shifts bits out or prints them out into the standard output or the DOS screen that you've been seeing. How do you read something in here? Well let's make a variable called int age and we will set that to zero. Now an int is an integer. Age is the variable name and we are setting the initial value to zero. And we're going to say hello world enter your age and then c in age. Now what that'll do, you notice how the arrows are in a different direction here. Think of the left side as out, the right side as in. C out, you're shifting the bits out to C out. C in, you're reading bits into a variable called age. So what this is going to do is you have a variable called age. You're going to say C out hello world, C out enter your age, and then C in age. So whatever they enter is going to go into this age variable. And then just to see that it worked, we will see out you entered and age. And let's put an inline there. Remember, just like Java and C sharp, you have to put this semicolon at the end here. So let's run this and see if it works. Compiling linking. Now it compiled, that's a good thing. Hello world, enter your age. Well, let's just enter uh, my age, 36. It says you entered 36. Press any key to continue. Now let's go back here one more time. I'm doing this for those of you that are kind of staring at your screen blankly wondering what just happened. You've got your preprocessor directive, you're including IO stream. Within IO stream is the standard. Uh, libraries C out and C in. We're using the entire standard namespace so we don't have to do you know standard colon colon. We've created a variable called age. We'll printed some stuff out, read it in, and then we printed it back out on the screen. Now I want to show you what happens if something goes horribly wrong here. So let's run the same program, enter your age, and instead of an age let's type dog. You entered zero. What just happened? Well C++ is a very dumb compiler and what I mean by that is it doesn't realize you didn't enter an integer. 
it in the background tries to cast or convert dog into an integer. Well, dog's not an integer. Dog's not a number. So you can't do that. So C++ just behind the scenes says, okay, he entered nothing because he didn't enter a number. So you may get unexpected results sometimes. And when you do, you have to remember that C++ is a very stupid compiler. This was developed back in the 70s. Um, it's very ahead of its time for the 70s, but it's no longer the 70s. Now, you're asking yourself, why are we using it then? Because almost everything in the world right now is built upon C or C++ at some level. Even the operating system you're using, uh, whether you're using Windows or Linux or even Google, um, it's C, C++ under the hood. I mean, that's the core of almost everything in the world right now. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else that we forgot here. Once again, remember, if you omit the system pause, the window will just appear and disappear extremely fast. I mean, it'll... Oh, sorry, I forgot. Because we're C in, the prompt will stop and say, what's your age? So we'll enter an age. When you hit enter, this window is going to disappear. See? It's because we have exited the program. You get to return zero, that just exits the program. So the DOS window just disappears. Um, I realize I kind of rambled on. I'm trying to take this kind of slow and over inundate you with very new information here so it absorbs in. The next couple tutorials are going to go a little bit faster. So practice uh, shifting things out and reading things in and see the different results you get. This is Brian. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you found this video educational and entertaining.